let us discuss this concept singular point in a simple language we can say a point where function is not analytic that is called singular point let us discuss few examples so you can easily understand suppose we have a function f of z is equal to e raised to z upon z minus 3 square see you can easily see if i put z is equal to 3 the denominator will be 0 so that's why function won't be analytic that means z is equal to 3 is a singular point of this function let us discuss one more example suppose we have a function g of z is equal to tan z get it so which is equal to sin z upon cos z so will you tell me at which points denominator will be 0 that means cos z will be 0 so z is equal to pi by 2 if if you put cos pi by 2 is 0 plus minus pi by 2 plus minus 3 pi by 2 plus minus 5 pi by 2 for all these values cos z will be 0 that means denominator will be 0 so that's why for all these points function is not analytic so that's why we can call them as a singular points so there are two types of singular points isolated singularity and non-isolated singularity let us discuss their types but before that i suggest you to make a screenshot of it then we will go further let us discuss types of isolated singular point isolated singular points isolated means what separate separate okay so if two singular or more than singular points are separate separate we call them as an isolated singular point let us discuss what is mathematical definition of it if function is not analytic at z0 that means z0 is a singular point but in some neighborhood of z0 function is analytic other than z0 okay so i have used this word deleted epsilon neighborhood that means whose radius is epsilon deleted that means center is removed from that neighborhood getting so function is not analytic z0 but other than z0 it is analytic in some neighborhood of z0 then we can say this is isolated singularity let us discuss one example so f of z if i consider a function 1 upon z minus 2 z minus 3 so my first question to you at which point function is not analytic that means how many and which singular points it has obviously z is equal to 2 and z is equal to 3 if you put these two points denominator will be 0 so z is equal to 2 and z is equal to 3 are singular points getting but see if you plot those points in the diagram so 2 will be here and 3 will be here that means it is possible to draw a neighborhood of 2 okay where the function is analytic other than 2 and in for 3 also it is possible to draw a epsilon neighborhood of 3 for which the function is analytic other than 3 so that's why 2 and 3 are isolated singularities or in a simple word isolated means separate separate these singularities are separate so the next concept is non-isolated singularity i have not mentioned definition here but you can easily guess non-isolated that means singularities are very close to each other getting so that means if you draw the diagram the first singularity is here second is so much close to it you cannot make distinguish between these two so such type of singularities are called non-isolated singularities which are very close to each other getting so in next video we are going to discuss some types of isolated singularities so i suggest you to make a screenshot of it and then we will go further thank you bye bye